Yeah, back to Fenton. Great change of direction. Fenton into the near post and the tap in for Courtney Vine. Leichhardt Oval explodes as the Matilda star. They all came to see Courtney Vine draws the game level 1-1. Here's another look. What a ball. Took three defenders out of the equation and the goalkeeper. Here's another look at how she just dropped the shoulder, said goodbye to Kirkup, and then bent it into the path of Vine, who lunged in. Tessa Beanie looking for the cross. Courtney Vine gets there. Brilliant play. And Courtney Vine, ten minutes after coming on, bursts into the area, uses her pace to perfection and turns the ball home. It is Vine time. The pace she possesses and the threat on the Harvey Norman replay. Well, this ball from Princess Abini is excellent. Pierces the Western United defense, which has been so strong all afternoon. The first time touch, the outside of the right boot. And that's a Matilda's quality right there in Courtney Vine. A brilliant finish. Just the moment's hesitation, but we saw about 10 minutes ago, Princess Sabini put a great ball into a similar area. De Santos. De Santos's delivery to Vine. She's hit the post for a third time. Can she go a fourth here? She crosses to the back post, and there is the 16 year old Maddie Caspers. Fresh off signing a contract until 2026. She scores her first goal in the Liberty A League. And what a star she is. What a great little touch here by Dos Santos. Great ball to the back post there. And the way Courtney Vine has just hit that first time. Again, she's going to be having nightmares about that post. But Maddie Caspers, what a great finish. Right place at the right time. And what a fantastic achievement by the youngster. She has been outstanding coming back into this side. I'll come to in a second as Abini looks to sweep it right towards Vine. Players in the middle. Chance here on the turn for Caspers. Manny Caspers again. It just had to be. Every time she gets a shot, it seems to end up in the back of the net. And the Sky Blues get the goal that their dominance has deserved. From Courtney Vine, you can see here, great ball in by Princess Abini. She just grabs the ball, turns on it. Calm, cool, collected, just slots it in the back of the net against the Quino. As soon as she took that ball in her feet and turned, did you expect any other outcome? Maddie Caspers on the score sheet once more. What a pickup she's been. She does it so naturally, Russ. The way she just takes that touch. Dalton went down again, no foul. Abini. Vine's made a great run to the right. It's Courtney Vine. It's 2 1 Sydney FC. The finish of a class player. The Matilda's international given half a chance and finds the net. And the Sky Blues have their lead back. The Sydney FC, that's for sure. Lovely pass. The weight on it from Abini. The first touch was perfect from Vine. And then there was an air of inevitability about the rest. There sure was. What a fantastic ball it was from Abini. The weight of that pass in. And to see these youngsters step up and to take the reins here for Sydney FC and we know the quality of this team and what's expected when you go and play at Sydney FC as well. De Santos is balling behind, it's brilliant. Vines in for two, Vines around the keeper and gets her second. The pass from De Santos was exquisite. The finish was top class and the Sky Blues probably have the points in the bag. Vine at the double, Sydney 3-1 up. Yeah, play that ball in behind to split that Perth Glory defence. Again, a great, great run there by Courtney Vine. She takes that extra touch to get in behind the goalkeeper there and puts it into the back of the net. But you've got to talk about that ball in behind but from Dos Santos to be able to do that. Absolute world class. A pass that strikers dream of. Didn't even need to break strides, Courtney Vine.